morning and welcome to today's video, which is a house tour. I have to do it. I figured it's okay. It's never going to be spotless because I keep waiting to make this video to be like, oh, I still have this to tidy up and I still have this that I want to be done and blah, blah, blah. It's never going to be finished. We bought a house and we bought with it stuff to do and it's not finished. It's absolutely not finished, but most of the boxes are tidied away. Most of the big things are done. So I figured let's do a house tour. It's not spotless. It's not perfect, but it's home. And it's a place where people live and two dogs with two people live here. So it's going to be messy. There's dog toys that you can tidy every day if you want. There's still going to be dog toys at the end of the day scattered around the house. There's dog fur, there's stuff. We had people over yesterday. So there's beer bottles on the balcony. That's life. <laughs> so yeah, that is going to be the house tour. And maybe one day when the downstairs bit, which is where I'm at, is um, redone because there's quite a bit of work here. Maybe I'll do a second house tour, but for now, this is going to be the house tour. Let's actually start outside. So this is our front yard. That's uh, where we come in with the cars. We park here and here usually. So there's a pretty like pretty big space with like gravels and stuff. Uh, my car is currently here because we had friends over and I need to move it. Mark's not here. We have a lovely um, outside dining space with like dog bowls and it's all over the place. We have this that is our shade thingy that we had. Uh, some nice trees that are blocking the view. Um, not blocking the view, blocking the sun uh, when we sit outside. So that's quite nice. That is the neighbor's house. We don't need to see that. And then let's actually try to get a shot of the full house. Can we do that? Yeah, there we go. That's the garage door. We are going to start with the garage. Then we have a flat downstairs here. <laughs> Cars. So there's a flat downstairs and then the upstairs, which is where we live. Let's start with the garage. No, let's actually go around the, the house. So that is the driveway kind of that we share with the neighbors. And then we built, oops, we actually did that. Mark and his cousin built that and all of that goes around the house. That is for the dogs. So that is the backyard and actually the hill up here with all the trees and stuff, that's all ours. And that little hobbit house as well. Actually, let me take you inside the hobbit house. I have planted two blueberry bushes, bushes, thing, whatever. Uh, here and I'm going to put raspberries here. They are currently here swallowed by like vines and whatever. I don't want to keep that. So that's the other side of the house. We have a ladder that goes up um, in the attic. I'm not gonna take you there. It's quite dangerous. And there's our Hobbit house. We call it a bunker because it looks like a bunker and basically is the camera gonna pick it up? Yes. It's all of the garden supplies, like plant stuff, some tools like garden tools, snow shovel, some alcohol and like strong decor, um, leftover fencing, leftover tires, a lot of leftover stuff basically. But it is quite a nice place because it keeps stuff cold during uh, summer. But apparently it freezes during winter, even inside, because it's quite cold. I mean, we are quite high in elevation, so it does freeze during winter. 
so we need to move the, the alcohol and stuff uh, because yes alcohol does freeze here apparently let's take you into the garage we have a lovely keychain that my sister actually made me it's quite cool you can see your reflection there you are hello so here is the garage we have lots of wood pellets for the um what is it called the thing that burns wood pellets to keep you warm I forgot the word we have of course emma watson who has relocated from the toilet door to the garage some stuff that we need to tidy up well it's actually quite nice and then the second room in the garage is kind of like a laundry place so washer dryer some storage some garden stuff more garden stuff a spare fridge the boiler and then we have my favorite corner we have tires as well winter tires that we need to actually put on the cars and then you have so spare washing machines spare freezer and all of those sports stuff so like winter stuff snowshoeing and stuff uh, football archery camping anything and the skis up here I love that rack it was there and it's actually very very convenient so yeah then the bikes are here and I want to figure out something to put them like to put some hooks on the wall or on the ceiling so that I can hook them up um, straight and not take as much space so we're gonna do that so then let's go to the bottom uh, bottom the ground floor apartment which is where most work need to be done as you can see the door is a work in progress i mean it's not very in progress but the door definitely needs changing that is just held by duct tape this uh, is broken that's actually our fault we broke the door because three days after moving we lost the key and then there's a pretty huge gap uh, under the door that actually water fits through when it rains then you have a so let let me give you kind of a view of this room so this is where you enter and this is kind of like a kitchen ish we need to put this sink in the place of this one because we actually don't need that so we are going to create a bit of uh, counter space we need to sell this fridge because we have too many fridges i mean that's another fridge then there's the oven that we had oven and um kitchen stuff that we had at our previous previous place that needs plugging in because I definitely want to use that oven. The one that we have upstairs is rubbish. And then on this side, you have the, maybe you recognize this thingy, which is where we used to put all of the dishes and like cutlery and stuff. And now it is a board game cupboard. <laughs> Quite cool. There we go. then behind me you have this room which is where i started the video which is kind of a living room so you have a couch uh, two spare mattresses a bunch of chairs a table a bunch of chairs the floor needs to be done we are going to put we think we want to put some um not painting something a bit thicker than paint but because the the tiles are actually quite in a good state for something that is 60 ish years old there's not much cracks to fix but it's just ugly so i think we're just going to cover it uh, the walls are going to be repainted because it is so dark the ceiling is not that high i can almost touch it 
So it's not that high. So to create light and space, you need lighter walls. And this has all been painted in a very dark shade of gray. I did, oh, that's a thing that happened. I did the electricity. So that is uh, safer because the thing that was there before, my God. So I did that. This is the only room that is actually painted white. So I'm quite okay with the color for now. Then you go into a little hallway that is very dark as well. It's the same gray. You have a bathroom on the right that we actually never used and I need to clean because my sister's coming. The colors are quite weird. I mean, it's, it's definitely a choice. There's a very big shower. I mean, two people definitely easily fit in that. So it's very orange, orange on the floor as well. But I mean, it's functional. There's sink, big shower, bit of space. It's, a, it's quite a big bathroom. And then on the other side of the hallway thingy, you have the toilet that has the most, where's the light? Here, oh my God, I got jump scared by the bucket. So yeah, my main issue with that, I unclogged it. So it's kind of okay. It's not perfect white, but it's okay-ish. <laughs> Thank you for the shot of the toilet mail. Uh, no, my main issue is that the wall is moldy. So I need to try and clean that. And then maybe, I don't know what to do with it, but this is actually not that dark because they left two walls white. So yeah, toilet, very interesting. The doors here are painted, which is not the case upstairs. And here is the downstairs bedroom with a big cupboard. Purple walls, I think. I did that as well. It's wonky, but hey, when have I ever made something straight? Uh, so we have a bit of storage, the bed. Let me give you a shot of the bed. There we go, nice light in the morning, very nice view on the neighbor's uh, house, but that's okay. And on the Hobbit house, we need to, I, I'm not a fan of that. But apparently it's keeping the uh, humidity out because as you can see the mold is slowly going through the walls so yeah that's fun uh, we need to redo the what's it called the joints of the window but that needs to happen so that was downstairs and now let me take you upstairs because maybe you understand why we bought this house because uh, the downstairs is not that fun it's not that pretty and you're like oh my god it's moldy and what's happening i thought i was alone to film and the neighbor was there so i just like turned around the corner and was like okay so yeah the downstairs is not that pretty it's not that fun but here we are upstairs and we are starting by a very, very nice view. I mean, we can't see another house in front of us. There is one down here, but because it's going downhill, we can't see anyone. So there's some flowers that my mom planted, some beer. I mean, we don't need to see that. And look at that view. Look at that view. It's gorgeous. So double windows. And we have our dining table, dining table. When we have people over, most of the time it's pushed against the wall because we don't really use that window. I'm actually going to take that curtain rod to put it uh, in the bedroom because we don't have curtains in the bedroom and we are facing the other house uh, bedroom. So that's quite weird. If you turn around, you go straight to the kitchen, which is, my god, one of my favorite part of the house, if not my favorite. I mean, I'm pretty bummed about the oven, but... So this is where we eat when there's just the two of us. I've got my little plant corner with a little 
can I turn it on? Yeah, a little light, a fairy light thingy in a wine bottle. We have a huge double fridge, American fridge, that is, uh, that was there when we moved here. So, uh, excuse you. Here we have a dog playing with his football. Got you. Where is it? Where is it? He doesn't want to play anymore. So, as I was saying, the kitchen. Very big kitchen, loads of storage space. There's some uh, storage as well down under the breakfast, breakfast bar. Storage up here. A... What's that called? Extractor fan thingy. Um, induction table to cook on, which is fun. Fruits and veg, I mean, that's not as fun. Hey, you can see me in the microwave. Oh my God, you can also see how dirty the microwave is. That's because it doesn't have a door. Uh, a door, it does have a door, but it doesn't have a handle. So you're just like pushing with your fingers. I need to clean that. The oven, that is my least favorite oven of all time. And I've cooked in a pretty bad oven before, but don't mind the cake that is still here. You lose so much space with this contraption thingy so you can only put something from here, so you lose all of that. Then you have three racks, one of which is so far down that it doesn't cook anything. It burns the bottom and that's all. One of it is so far up that it doesn't cook anything, it just burns the top. So that's the only rack you can use. And it was stuck when we came in. So yeah, I hate this oven. It doesn't cook anything and then it burns. Anyway. Moving on to the living room part. So this is all a pretty big open space, kitchen, living room. And yeah, this is what we've done with the living room. This is the thing that I forgot the name, wood pellet thingy. What's up? So that heats up uh, the whole room, the whole upstairs and our bedroom. We have separated the two bits of the couch because it wouldn't fit uh, the way we wanted it to fit. And then Mark built himself a gaming desk thingy. That's actually, I painted it and he built it. We have our shelves with some gamer stuff and some sports stuff. Archery medals and stuff, uh, PlayStation controllers. Another very, very nice view of the outside the balcony. And yeah, a dog, another dog. Moving on to the bathroom. We put a handle because there were no handles. So when you closed it all the way, you then needed to take a knife to open the door. The bathroom, we did nothing to it. Uh, I mean, we put up a shower curtain, so that's it. We have a bath, storage, more storage, a mirror that is so high that it is literally chin high for me. I can kind of see my shoulders and that's all. We have a shower that is, again, pretty big. Uh, we need to put back, that is, let me show you that thing that goes here and it doesn't stick and I'm pretty bummed about it because it was supposed to stay on. I mean, it was like very, very strong glue, but anyway, that's all right. So that was the uh, bathroom. Then in the hallway, let me show you. Can I get a shot, a full shot of that? We have a pretty nice um, hanging of, hanging, not hanging, pictures, hanging pictures of us with, again, some table markers from a wedding. So then down the hallway, there's a toilet. I mean, it's a toilet. It's very, actually very nicely tiled. Uh, this one's pretty clean. That's the electricity uh, box thingy. On the right is our bedroom with grayish 
tones all the way. They were pretty, pretty big fans of grey, I think, because everything is basically 50 shades of grey. And we had some like touches of colour with that and stuff, but our bed sheets were grey, the flooring that we picked was grey as well, so it was a lot of grey. That is the thing that I've built because, oh my god, buying a thing for your clothes, like where you hang stuff, what is it called, a wardrobe, is so expensive. So I bought two shelves for like 20 euros each. I put them on the dresser that we had, separated the dresser and then hang a, what's that called? A metal rod thingy. I hanged it in between the two shelves, so it's like uh, screwed in. And then there we go. You have a wardrobe for so twenty euros, twenty euros, and then about twenty euros for the rod and stuff to to like attach it. So that's like yeah, sixty euro for a wardrobe. That is actually pretty nice. And you still have space on the side to fold your stuff. That is where Swan likes to sleep. Uh, she does lay on the thing and she likes to be underneath here. So that was our bedroom. And now is the only door that is painted upstairs because look at the state of the other doors. Like, what, what, what was happening with the painting job? That's, that's not a thing. I realize that I'm just pointing out what's wrong, but it's actually it's actually very nice compared to lots of our houses that we visited. So that's the office for now with the shelves with the books, um, a questionable paint job again, my two puzzles that are hanged, the um, chairs from my grandparents, my filming uh, equipment, because that is going to be my filming setup. I mean, I want that to be my filming setup. Again, a very nice view. Come on. I mean, it's still the same view, but it's nice. And the desk, well, my desk, Mark's desk is in the living room because he likes it better. Some shelves that I need to find more stuff to put in. Oh my God, this one is so not straight. What's wrong with you? Come on. There we go, better. And that's it, that is our house. I am sorry that I pointed out so many details that needs fixing, but that's just because for the last month and a half, we've been fixing stuff and like, Figuring out, oh my god, all of the little details that are... I'm just realizing that the wallpaper is not straight over there. Uh, basically, they were not very into manual work, uh, the previous owners. So everything that has been done has been done a bit wonky. For example, the tap in the kitchen is wired the wrong way, the hot water is on the opposite side that what it's supposed to be. So everyone thinks cold is on the right and hot is on the left and ours is flip. So I need to switch that. There's like loads of little things to do, which is why it took me so long to record this video because I was like, oh, but I need to do that. I need to do that, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to do all of that because if I hadn't mentioned the water thing, you wouldn't have noticed. Same thing with loads of little details, but it just keeps nagging us because it's like, oh, I need to do that, need to do that. And to be fair, we're pretty tired, <laughs> both of us, because we just work, work, work. But I mean, at least we work for us. It's ours and it's ours to make ours. It's ours to build our little nest for our little family. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this house tour. Um, I'm pretty sure in the future I will do a renovation 
Siri for the downstairs, but that's not happening in a while because the roof is the next big project that we're going to take on and that is going to be next spring and that is going to take a lot of our budget so we'll see what's left for the downstairs afterwards because the roof is our priority for now i will see you guys in the next video which will probably be in my new filming zone in the office so i'm quite excited for that uh, I try to make it all uh, cozy and to be a nice place to record. So look forward to that. In the meantime, you can subscribe if you're not, if you want to get notification every time I upload, which is not very often, so don't worry, you won't get drowned in notifications. You can give me a like if you like the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!